uh, whether you are joining us here live or if you are watching this at a future time, we're glad for your interest in MCC and specifically for the topic of this webinar, the MCC mobile cannery and um, the service opportunity that we have with it. So what we are going to be covering this evening is just um, kind of a brief overview of what MCC is, um, what is MCC's mobile cannery, what it's like to be a service worker in the role of canner operator with the mobile cannery, and then we'll have a chance to hear um, the perspective of current and a past participant of the canner. And then we'll wrap up with what the application process looks like to be able to serve with MCC. During our time this evening, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat or in the Q&A feature and we'll uh, get to them. So to get us started, MCC is a Christian nonprofit working in um, three main areas. So relief aid, development, and peace initiatives. Um, and this work happens all over the world in Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Latin America, as well as in North America, the US and Canada. MCC currently works in 51 countries with hundreds of different partners. Uh, we focus our work through the local partner organizations um, to build their capacity either through grant funding, education, trainings, um, or by placing a service worker with the organization. Or as we are talking about this evening, we have the mobile cannery. Um, we have service workers who serve with the mobile cannery um, as part of our relief aid that we do. Um, and we'll also um, a little bit later talk about what it means to be a service worker and what it means to be a fully funded volunteer. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. So to talk about the MCC's mobile cannery, I'm going to pass it over to John, who is joining us here tonight. He is the manager of the mobile cannery and he's yeah going to tell us a little bit more. John, I'll pass it on over to you. Uh, good evening. Um, you are looking at a picture of the only mobile cannery in the world, uh, MCC's mobile cannery. And uh, what it is, is a semi-tractor trailer uh, that has everything that we need to can meet in the back of it. Uh, and that includes a steam boiler and pressure cookers and, and all kinds of fun stuff to work with. Um, and this mobile cannery travels around the US and Canada to over 30 different locations and attaches to a building um, and becomes a federally inspected uh, cannery. Um, and then MCC sends those cans of meat all over the world. Uh, if you wanna go to, a, go to, uh, to the next slide, Erica, please. Uh, we do uh, turkey, uh, pork, beef, and chicken. Uh, all, of, all of those meats are purchased by donated funds by uh, committees that coordinate all of the canning at, at each location. And with, with all the volunteers that we use in our season that starts in October and, and ends in April, uh, we use around 30,000 volunteers. Um, and so uh, that's an, uh, in a normal year, uh, 30,000 volunteers, uh, which we hope to get back to pretty soon. Um, and to, to make all this work, to transport the mobile cannery from location to location, to, to help coordinate the volunteers and to, to operate the equipment, um, there are four canner operators uh, who are service workers that travel with the mobile cannery um, and just really make this, this program work. Um, so if you wanna go uh, to the next slide, please. So on the right, you can see one of the jobs of a canner operator, which is taking the, a basket of cooked cans out of the pressure cooker, uh, right behind the, the canner operator in the, in the blue coveralls, you can see a steam boiler that makes all the steam. Uh, he's actually standing in the trailer right now. Um, and on the left, uh, you can see all the volunteers having a, having a good time, having a laugh. Uh, we, we like to work hard. We, we also like to have a lot of fun too. Um, and the, 
the canner operator in the coveralls on the left is operating the can sealer that puts the lid on top of the can and, and crimps it together. So those are just, just two of the jobs um, that the canners do. Next slide, please. The, the common qualities of, of a canner operator are uh, really loving adventure. Uh, loving to travel to, to new locations and meet new people and be respectful of those those people because we we are all different uh, and you know we're very politically and socially diverse and and we are diverse in a number of, of other ways um, and so it's important to have a servant's heart when you go into any any situation with a mobile cannery and and uh, be be willing to serve um, there's a as, as 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 well as operating all of the canning uh, equipment. Uh, sometimes it needs fixed, so it's good to have some uh, mechanical skills. It's good to be flexible um, with, with with something as unique as the mobile cannery. Uh, things don't always go to plan, uh, so it's good to be flexible, and it's good to be able to solve those, to, to have the ability to solve those problems and be willing and available to do so. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not common to find uh, somebody that has all of those qualities and that's okay. Uh, I certainly didn't have, have maybe any of those qualities. It might be fair to say uh, when I started working with the mobile cannery about 13 years ago, uh, but it's important to be willing to grow. Uh, that's, that's really the main quality that anybody interested in serving with the mobile cannery needs. They need to be willing to grow and willing to learn and willing to take on this challenge. Next slide, please. And there are many advantages and many challenges. Like, like anything that's worth doing, uh, there's, there's some parts that are pretty easy and a lot of fun. And there's some parts that, that are a challenge. Um, and the, the main advantage of the mobile cannery is it is 100% completely unique. Um, you, you would not find this opportunity anywhere else than MCC. Um, and all the people that you would meet, all of the relationships that you would develop uh, have a very good chance of lasting long after your, your, your service term is over. Um, and obviously the, the hundreds of thousands of people across the world that benefit from the can meet, uh, you would have just a very important role in helping those people that, that you might never meet. And, and it put, really puts a new definition to helping our neighbors because uh, as this, this past year certainly proves, we are, we are all neighbors. Um, and yeah, the experience of being a, a canner operator certainly would, would prepare you for the next steps of your life and, and career. Uh, serving on the canner has a way of, of uh, uh, really maturing me. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, speak for myself, but to take on this responsibility and to, to, to know, to have the confidence that you can do work like this really, really helped me in my life and and the next steps i never thought that i'd i would can meet for a large chunk of my life but but here i am um and so yeah it's it's overall really awesome um and uh, some of the challenges might be working in unfamiliar areas with unfamiliar people uh that's that's not always easy so that can be a good thing but it, uh, but also a challenge um there's also a lot to learn um and that can be stressful, uh, but at the same time, uh, once once you learn it, then it's like you've been doing it your whole life. It's like anything else. Once it, it seems pretty daunting, but once you learn uh, learn the work, and once you've done it for a little bit, uh, it it can seem pretty easy after a while. Yeah. Next slide, please. All right. Thanks for that. John, so um, as a service worker for the and as a canner operator for the mobile cannery, um, service workers are what we um, would call fully funded volunteers, similar to our international service worker placements. Um, so it does it means that you don't receive a salary, but while we, you are serving with MCC, we cover all of your main expenses. So this would be um, a modest monthly living allowance plus your food, housing, transportation, um, medical, dental, vision, those kinds of benefits. Um, you also receive 
certain amount of vacation time and allowance for that vacation time. Um, we also contribute to educational loan assistance during your time of service. And then um, another benefit is something that would be retirement contributions. So yeah, although you wouldn't receive a salary, it is like we said, a fully funded volunteer. Um, and MCC looks to um, provide for and care for our uh, service workers during, during their term with MCC. So now we're gonna head into a time to um, talk with panelists. So we have John joining with us and also Han, and we are going to be having a third person with us this evening, Gabrielle. But unfortunately, due to weather and storms, um, his internet and power went out. So he will not be joining us this evening. Let's stop sharing here so we can see faces a little bit more. But yeah. Uh, once again, John, thanks for joining us. And Han, I'm really glad that you're able to be here this evening. Um, yeah, if you both wouldn't mind just taking a moment to say your name and introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is uh, Han, and uh, I am the, uh, the, the new canner so far for, for this year. Um, and uh, I am excited to be working with MCC and excited for uh, the the next uh, the next season uh, of canning and uh, just this experience that MCC has provided provided uh, here thanks and I'm John Hillegas and I I served as a canner operator from 2004. 2007, so for three years there. Um, and then a couple years later, I came back and I uh, I uh, served in a position called the canning coordinator, which is kind of kind of manages the program. I started that in 2010. Um, I've been doing that ever since. Thanks. Um, and for both of you, maybe we'll kind of continue in the same order, Han, if you want to answer. And then John, you can follow up with your answer as well. Maybe just say what sparked your interest to serve with MCC's canner? Uh, so um, my parents initially recommended uh, me joining the canner um, and uh, discussed about how it'd be a very good growing experience and a unique experience that I could still uh, be able to do since I was so, so young and uh, it's, it can be a little physically demanding, but um, uh, the more that they uh, continue to, to talk about it and how uh, rewarding it could be and all that I could uh, learn from it and just all the people that I'd meet along the way. Um, it seemed just like it would be a lot of fun. Uh, challenging maybe, but fun. And so I uh, kind of hopped on, not really knowing what all to expect, but uh, here I am, so. Thanks. Yeah, John, and what sparked your interest? Um, several years ago now yeah several that's kind thank you <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i i had always known about the the mobile cannery my my uh, father had had served with it um back in the in the late 60s um and but yeah to me you know growing up it sounded like a lot of work um and it sounded like like a long time uh the the, the term is two years and i and I thought, oh yeah, two years just sounds like forever, and I don't know that I can commit that much time. Um, but but really, what I found once I you know, once I did say, okay, yeah, okay, I'll do it, was was how quickly that time went. It went really, really quickly. <laughs> and so, really, the yeah, one of the hardest parts for me was actually saying, yes, I will commit to this, and yes, I will do it. And everything after that was almost like a blur. A a really good and enjoyable blur, but yeah, it just went very, very fast. 
I would affirm that I did another type of service um, opportunity with MCC, not with the canner, but two years, it does seem like a long amount of time in the beginning, but afterwards you say, oh, wow, that was, it went by really fast. And I think that's a testament to um, how great, yeah, the service term is. Um, so what is it like for you to serve as a service worker in this role? Uh, different, I would say. It's very uh, unique in the fact that, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, this specifically gives you the, the chance to meet um, a multitude of different kinds of people that I don't think in a, I, I don't know if I could consider a, a normal job or work sitting, I guess, uh, I, I believe, I guess I would say you wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily find, um, I don't think, and just, No, I, I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I would, I would say. Yeah. And John, what was it like for you as a service worker in the role? Yeah, I, yeah, you know, when I first started, I, when I heard service worker, I thought it, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what that meant, because I knew what a volunteer meant, and I knew what a, what a, a salaried employee or hourly employee meant. And so service worker was not a familiar term and, and it didn't take long to learn that that was kind of in the middle of those two things <laughs> and that you're, you're not volunteering and that you're, you're not just doing it for, for nothing, uh, or at least no, no uh, financial support, but at the same time, you don't really uh, make a lot of money either. Um, and I thought, well, you know, that must be really tough to, to be in a position where your, your needs are taken care of, but at the same time, you're not really really making money. And that was one of my concerns. Um, and, but yeah, I mean, once you're, once you're serving as a service worker and you have, you know, your, your housing is taken care of, um, your, your food is taken care of, transportation is taken care of, and, uh, MCC, uh, MCC provides all that. And it really surprised me how, how little I noticed actually being a service worker. <laughs> Um, I just, yeah, I didn't feel like a, like I was, you know, quote unquote volunteering. Um, but it, yeah, it, it, it really makes you appreciate uh, how you can live simply and be very, very content. Great, right, thanks. Um, so thinking about your experience this past year, Han, what has been the most impactful experience for you so far? I would say um, getting to hear all the different stories from people at all the different locations that we've been able to, to can at. Um, uh, either it be former canning stories of all the, the different challenges that they had to face uh, on their canning service trip or um, volunteers and just them talking about their, their own uh, personal lives and things that, that they've gone through. Um, uh, something that comes to mind is uh, uh, this uh, man in, uh, was it Belleville, Pennsylvania that uh, talked about when he was younger he put on a backpack and packs some clothes and supplies and stuff to cook food with and literally walked and traveled down from Pennsylvania uh, through Mexico into South America all the way down to the to the bottom and then walked all the way back around up in I guess I, I believe he said a little over a year or something like that. And just all these 
crazy unique experiences that he had on his on his journey along the way that at first didn't seem quite believable but the more that he talked about it and the more that he pointed out to he was pointing out to he ended up pointing out to locations on uh google maps that we brought up on on our on our smartphone and was like oh yeah i went to to this place over here and had these things happen and then and then ended up having to you know sleep under uh, a bridge or something for for shelter and for for bedding and then walked over and in, into this place over here and it was just incredible hearing all these different stories from people yeah i think that gets at kind of the beautiful array of stories and people that you get to meet along the the canning route and that yeah it's a opportunity to make so many new friendships along the way uh john do you have uh an experience that you would say was been very impactful for you yeah i think i think some of the most uh impactful uh experiences are when we get to to travel to to a country where canned meat has been shipped um yeah i've been to to numerous places in, in central america and i've been to haiti and ukraine um and uh all all canners that that i serve with mcc get get at least one opportunity to to do that to to go on a trip um and it's very uh, impactful to share the story not not of just the mobile cannery but of all the volunteers that work with the mobile cannery that create these cans of meat and you know uh, anybody that receives a can of meat just sees the can of meat and just assumes that it comes from a a factory or you know some place where uh where a chicken goes in one end and a can of meat comes out the other. Um, but no, to, to share the story of this mobile cannery that you know, travels around and you know, does all these things, and it just blows people away that, that hear that. Um, and they say, well, you know, take my thanks back to the volunteers. And then to return and tell, and then share that story with the volunteers, it really, cre really creates a circle of you know, prayer and blessings and, and uh, uh, fellowship. And, it's 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 a yeah it's amazing it's absolutely it's just, incredible yeah so that's how we're all interconnected in the world it's great um yeah then i guess my final question that i would have for both of you is how are you supported during your service time what does the support look like for you um so i would say uh support for for me, this uh, this canning term would be um, just uh, the whatever the limited interaction that I have had with people uh, uh, has been really, really positive, really good, and uplifting. Um, uh, we uh, have had the chance to still. Um, play a couple games, uh, uh, card games of Rook with some of the volunteers at some of the different places that we've gone to. So that's been kind of kind of fun, uh, trying to learn how to play a little bit better, I suppose. And just um, the kindness from uh, other volunteers wanting to uh, uh bring in a meal for us to for us to eat wherever we're canning at or uh even uh supplies if uh we wanna we we wanna uh make make our make make a meal for ourselves or whatever use use the the uh the cookware or whatever that they that they have and not uh Feel like uh, we're um, uh, oh, that's good. Thanks. Um, 
John, how were you supported during your service worker term those three years? Uh, well, yeah, uh, financially, MCC provides you know, pretty, yeah, pretty much everything that we needed. When, when we were on the road with the mobile cannery, we had, uh, yeah, we, we had uh, what we called the MCC canner wallet, which basically we could uh, buy whatever food we needed. We, we stayed with host families while on, while on the road, which is, which is a pretty awesome experience as well. Um, and yeah, as far as the work, uh, yeah, uh, MCC, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to can meat when I started. I didn't know anything about it at all. Um, I didn't know how to drive a semi truck either, uh, but MCC provided all that training. Um, and also when, when we weren't canning, um, there was a, uh, there was a good community of, of volunteers uh, uh, here in Akron, Pennsylvania, uh, where we stayed our, our summers. Uh, and we were able to work at the, the warehouse here in the summer and, and uh, just, a, just a really good, really good group of, of uh, folks to work with. Great. All right, I'm going to uh, share my screen here again. Thank you both for sharing your stories there. That's really great to hear your perspective about um, what it's like to serve with the canner. So the application process uh, in order to apply with MCC, we do that um, online where you register kind of your general interest and register as a candidate. And then after that, it will um, take you um, where you can mark what position you are interested in. And once you have done that initial registration, we will send a confirmation and we will follow up with you um, to go through the application process um, collect references. And then after those stages, we would then set up a time to have an interview with you or maybe even a second interview. And then um, we would discern if this is um, a good fit for you or not and see how, yeah, what position would be good for you with MCC or in this case with the mobile cannery. Um, we are here this evening talking about the mobile cannery, but MCC does have a lot of different opportunities to serve. Um, we've had several webinars on them. So if you would like to listen to some of those other sessions and just to learn more about service opportunities with MCC, I would encourage you to go to the to the link here of the mcc.org forward slash MCC and me. Um, and then also just to see what current openings uh, we have in general with MCC, you can go to the link of our website there to see what we currently have offered. Uh, if you have any questions about the canner, being a canner operator or other service opportunities, I uh, would encourage you to go once again to our website and you can um, connect with us and send questions that way. Uh, we are really grateful that you are able to join us this evening. We hope that you enjoyed. Sorry, I'm not sure if I was sharing there or not. Did that come up there, John, the last two slides? Uh, no, it, they it did flashed it. up okay. and away. Yeah. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. So I'm actually gonna try and reshare here. Sorry about that, technology. Sometimes it's not the most cooperative with us. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, can you confirm that you're seeing this now? Yeah, we see it. Okay, great. So yeah, just to recap that the application process, what I was saying, if you go to the link there, of the, you can fill out the general um, registration form and then find the, the position that you're interested in. And then here are the links that you can look at um, to learn more about different opportunities and to listen to the previous webinars that we've had on the various opportunities we have to serve with MCC. And then the second link there is to see what our current openings um, that we have with MCC in general. 
So with that, we would invite you to send us any questions, whether now or in the future, you're welcome to um, go to our website there, mcc.org forward slash serve, and you can send us your questions through there. We are grateful for you all for joining us once again, whether you are here live with us now or listening in the future. And we hope that um, you are able to be inspired by some of these stories and we hope to see you serving with MCC sometime in the future. Um, thanks again to John and Han for joining us this evening. John for presenting and sharing stories and Han for sharing of uh, what has been a unique year of service for you this past year. We're really grateful for all the work that both of you do right now with the mobile cannery. Thanks again for joining us all. We hope you have a great evening. <laughs>